Alright everybody, it is review time. With the cold weather coming in, I went out and bought this baby. So, I don't know if you guys remember, but last year I flipped my canoe. Oh, Nice. And I lost my Mr. Buddy heater, so I was using the old style heaters. Um, and I wanted something like this that puts out a lot of BTUs. So, let's go over this baby opener up. The new DeWalt heater. This thing is a, a tank. This would be awesome for ice camping. Here she is. It's a little on the heavy side. So if you can get past the heaviness, you're gonna enjoy this unit. So on low settings, this thing is 8,000, I think, 6,000. And then on high, it's 12,000 BTUs. And then just like the Mr. Heaters, it's uh, indoor safe, so. But the one thing that's cool about this is it has the electronic start, so that's pretty cool there. And then it has your USB ports uh, because you're gonna be using your DeWalt battery. So you're just gonna take your regular DeWalt battery here. Come to this little insert right here. Pop that baby in there. And then you got multiple functions. So you got your little light. So that could become handy on some situations like ice fishing and you don't want to carry a light or you just have that in your hut. Bam, shine it up. Look at that, I got some light. And then the thing that I wanted the most about this thing is because I want to do a lot more ice camping this year. Uh, going to different lakes and stuff, spend the night on the water. Once the water, the ice gets thick, is this right here. It has a fan. So one thing that I invested in last year was an electric fan by Clam that ran off of D batteries. Uh, D batteries get expensive and I wanted to combine it all. So my DeWalt batteries is what I use on my drill on my Clam. I meant, sorry, on my K drill. So pretty slick to have all my batteries. So then I'll just be having four batteries come with me and then I can run my fan off this. Don't have to carry a, another fan and we'll have some air movement in there. But I'm gonna do the, the final test of this baby to make sure that I really enjoy this is I'm taking it out on my boat, duck hunting, and it's supposed to be cold tomorrow. So I'll see you guys out of the water. So one thing that I left out that I'm putting in now is it has the dual tank capacity. So if you're not gonna be running a uh, big propane tank like a 20 pounder you can take two one pounders with you so that's another plus I had that on my last buddy heater that I lost and then this also has the electronic ignition so I don't know if I showed you guys that or told you that but yeah nice thing also is this has two year uh, limited warranty so anything that goes wrong with it get a hold of DeWalt figure out what's going on All right guys, I told you guys we were gonna meet out on the water and I was gonna do a review on this DeWalt heater. So, uh, I got it running now on low setting, plus the heater. There's three guys in my boat. Uh, here, let me go ahead and show you. So, three guys and all we have is just a regular tarp. And so, what, the, what this heater is doing is pushing heat down this. And if you can already tell from my waders, this sucker's putting out some heat and because I was in the water and so it, my waders are super cold. This thing's putting out some heat. So I'm guessing right now it's doing the 6,000 BTUs. Uh, if I was to crank this up to 12,000, well, I know I would be cooked. I don't know about these guys because the fan is just blowing it towards everybody. So right now I'm gonna have to give this heater 
an 8 out of 10 because I did have trouble starting it. I'm guessing that's just because it's super cold out right now. But uh, we'll find out later in the season. So I'm out in the garage now using this heater, which love this thing. I can already say that I'm out in the garage uninsulated and it's working perfect for me. I'm doing some stuff with my decoy and everything like that. So I'm out here staying warm and comfortable in the area. Uh, I mean, it's not gonna heat the whole entire garage, but for me working right here, it's perfect. And I'm excited for ice fishing. I'll have to let you guys know in that video so you guys have to hit subscribe if you guys wanna find out more about this heater because I'll talk about it more while I use it and everything. But the fan is slick. Uh, when I was using it out in the blind uh, hunting, it would push heat to all three of us guys when I had my blind flipped over over us. So we were pushing heat through the whole entire blind. And it was super cold that day. Uh, I think, what did I say, 27 degrees or something like that. And this thing kept us plenty, plenty warm. So I was ex excited to be able to use it out there. Uh, I was going to sleep out there. I'm glad I did not because it was a little chilly out there. Uh, we broke ice when we went out there, so that was cool. Uh, I am still on the same propane, so I ran that thing for seven hours on medium, and then when we started to get cold, so I probably ran it on medium for three hours, and then I ran it on high for probably the, the last little bit uh, to keep us more warm, and my five, volt, my five amp battery lasted the whole entire time uh, with the fan running, so. That's pretty awesome. This thing and the light. The light was nice when we were going out there because I have a tiny light in my boat, but it wasn't putting the light in the spot I needed it to. So I just used that light, shined it in. We were able to see what we needed to see. So I'm glad I made this investment and you guys should too. Uh, I'm definitely gonna enjoy this, this ice fishing season. Uh, I'm already enjoying it for duck hunting season, so. Hope you guys like this little review, and if you guys want to see more reviews like this, go ahead and smash that like button. And while you guys are down there, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and help support this channel so I can bring more reviews your way. So thank you all for watching today's video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.